Hey guys, welcome. Hey everybody. Welcome in. We are so excited to have you. It's so awesome to have Shanna back for Tone and Flow. And I don't know how you are, but you know, daylight savings time can either kick your bum or get you excited. And I don't care how tired I am, the sun gets me pumped. But like, what's new? Katie pumped, right? Like, it's kind of a thing. So today we're super excited because, you know, sun's out, guns out is kind of a thing today. The sun's out longer. So we're going to be working on arms so you can tone and strengthen all those muscles in your arms at home or wherever you are. Get ready for spring. Get ready for summer. Not that you need to because you are beautiful, but you know, who doesn't love better arms? I do. So with that, per usual, we're going to warm up with Shannon. We're going to do a workout with me and then we're going to cool back down with Shannon and I'm going to stop babbling and we're going to get right into it. Head it over to you, Shan. Katie, you never cease to bring all the energy. All right, y'all. Hi, let's get started. Standing in mountain pose, feet hip width distance apart, reach your arms out, palms face up and then exhale, bring it in, shoulder squeeze, elbow squeeze in, exhale, release. So the way that we're going to do is our palms are going to stay up as we're just reaching in and out. If you want to add in a little legs, you can squat down. So breathe in, reach out, exhale, squeeze it in, inhale to reach, exhale, squeeze. Let's do that 10 more times here together. So really feel the activation in your arms as they're lengthening out and then really squeezing it into your body, igniting that core. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's hold here in the squat. Reach our arms forward and exhale. Bring it back, bringing those elbows behind our body. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, take it back. Igniting the core and the legs here, squeezing it all in. Closing up your eyes if you need to and focus on that breath. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's stand it up, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring palms through heart center. Take a moment to pause to arrive here. Place your hands on your heart. Tune into the energy that you're already starting to build. And then we'll bring our elbows together, palms together, and then reach up. We're gonna do about 20 just pulses, bringing the elbows about two inches up. So here we go. Returning to your breath, really squeezing the arms together, drawing the shoulders back. Baby pulses up. Here we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, lower down into a forward fold. We're stepping directly back into our plank here. So shift the weight back and forth, find your center. And then exhale, come down onto your knee, knees, untuck the toes. And we're just gonna take a few baby push-ups. So lowering the chest all the way down to the mat. Exhale, press it up. Lower all the way down. Press up, let's do five more together. Four. Three. Two. Last one, hold here, and then come up into your upward facing dog. Toes are still tucked, shoulders wrap back, heart shines forward. On the exhale, just like a wave, engage the core to bring it back and up to your downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into your upward facing dog. Exhale, flow it back, connecting movement with breath. Taking it down. Let's do five more here. Moving at your own pace. Five, 
We've got three more. Last two. And then arriving together in our upward facing dog. We'll bring the knees back onto the mat, press back into your child's pose. Take a moment to pause, to rest. And then whenever Katie's ready, she's gonna bring us out of our child's pose and start to fire it up even more. Hi, sorry, I was like down in that child's pose, like ready to go. Okay, so sorry for the energy, you know it's my thing. Um, and with the sun, it just gets worse. So. <laughs> also, prior, we were talking about systems and like tasks, like that's totally my thing. So I get super pumped. So speaking of which, let's get right into it. So we're gonna do a few um, moves today. We're gonna warm up, we're really activating and learning to squeeze just like we do when we do core workouts. And then we're gonna really get into more body weight type style workouts. And I think I have everything you ready to go. Okay, when you're ready, let's see. We're gonna sit here on the ground and we are going to start by taking our arms forward. We're gonna curl and squeeze as tight as you can. And you're gonna press out with your palms. Squeeze as tight as you can like you're flexing and press out with your palms. So really squeezing and press out. When you are squeezing, you're squeezing as tight as you can. Flexing, 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 keep those elbows up and Press forward, squeeze it like you're pressing the wall away really hard. That's it. Come on. Squeeze. The harder you squeeze and hold, like you're pressing all the water out of the sponge, really squeezing it out. Come on. It gets really tiring to do. You're going to want to stop and just move your arms. Don't do that. Press. Take a break. Squeeze and press. Take a break. Press. That's it. Come on. Squeeze. All right. Shake out those arms. That's it. All right. One more down here. We're going to bring our elbows up. You're going to flex your muscles like you're a freaking bodybuilder. And then you're going to squeeze those elbows together. Hold. And then back. Let's go. Squeeze and pull. Squeeze. Keep those elbows up and together. Squeeze. Open and squeeze together, squeeze. So you're really squeezing those elbows together, getting those arms nice and high. Elbows should be above the shoulder to really pull in and twist those pinkies in to really activate those biceps. So squeeze and then squeeze. Keep those pinkies pulled in, that's it. Open, squeeze and squeeze. Try to squeeze a little tighter every single time, that's it. Squeeze together and apart. That's it. And together. Two more seconds. Two, one. Woo! All right, shake it out. Shake it out. Come on. All right, here we go. We're going to come up into a plank. A good plank. Pressing through with your hands and your feet. Two, one. Full plank. If you want, you want a slow lower with your elbows as far down as you go, stay in that plank and press back up. Even if it's just a little bit, then you're going to push forward and back with your toes. Then try it again. Down into a push up, stay in a nice plank and forward and back. If you cannot do a full push up, don't drop to your knees. You're just going to do a partial push up. So you stay in a plank, you go as low as you can, then you pull back up, forward and back and down. That's it. So you're working all the muscles, all of them nice and tight, all through that shoulder. That's it. Let's get tall. Come on, people. Forward, back. Come on. Push and up. Stay nice and tight in that plank. That's it. Two, one. Woo! Shake it out. I'm tired already. All right. We're going to get a little break from that side. We're going to come back into tricep dips. So hands behind, feet in front, and we're going to come up. And you can either dip from here, or you can put one leg over the other and dip. This is a little tougher. Keep that bum up if you want to make it tougher. Drop those elbows and back up. You can do the other leg, switch however you need, or you can do both legs. To make it easier, you can pull your feet in closer. To make it harder, you can pull your feet away. That's it. Drop it. Keep that chest up. Dropping those elbows back and down, pressing up, 
pressing up, that's it. If you need to shake out, that's okay. It's a lot on your arms and we're not used to it. That's fine, just try to keep moving. Don't take a long break. You have five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out. Woo! All those shoulders, all those hands. Now, in push-ups, if you would like to do a full push or you can drop to your knees. But we're gonna do hand switches. So one in front, one to the side, and then switch. Here we go. So one down, up, and then switch those hands. Down, up, switch those hands. You can do this on your elbow, I mean on your knees, but I really want you to switch those hands out. Come on, keep it going. Press, press it through. We're gonna get all those muscles, all of them all around this side of the arm and through the arm here. You got it, come on, keep going, don't stop. Even if it's ugly, keep it nice and tight and press, switch. You only have a few seconds. It's gonna sting, it's gonna hurt in a good way. If it stings your shoulder in a bad way, do not do this. <laughs> Keep going, your muscles are gonna burn, and you're gonna keep pressing. You've got it. We're doing it together. Three, two, one. Shake it out, woo! All right, let's get a little break from that. We're gonna get the back of the arms. We're gonna stand up in a nice skater position, kind of leaning over, and we're gonna step back and squeeze our shoulder blades together, that's it. Step back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Squeeze, squeeze, come on. So here you're squeezing right in the middle of your shoulder blades right here. So you're squeezing and squeezing as you bend over. It's a tiny little muscle. It's gonna help your arms keep going. It's gonna help your arms because it brings you from this position to this position and makes your arms look much better. You got it, come on, up and squeeze, squeeze. Together I'm over and I'm squeezing the back of those shoulders. Squeeze and hold. That's it, you've got it. Few more seconds. Woo, I looked and I almost fell over. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, that should sting. That is a small muscle we can really, really get a lot of work on. All right, here we go. We're gonna do some pipe push-ups. So feet up on your toes, you should be up over your hands, and we're gonna try to get our heads to the ground. If you can't do this, you can put your feet back or try to get that head to the ground, or you can bend your knees, try to get that head to the ground, whatever you can. The hardest one is on your toes, up and over, kind of like a handstand, and push it down. That's it. So the hardest way to do this is to get your hands up over your head. The easier way is your hands aren't as far over your head. Whatever you need to do, we're going to get those shoulders, all this top area of the arm. You've got it. Plus, like, pretty much your entire arm. Here we go. Come on, this one's a tough one. You've got it. However you need to modify it. This gets tiring. You can bend your knees. Keep going. Knees get some movement. And try to bring that head to the ground. Two, one. Woo! Shake it out. Woo, that's a super tough one. All right, we are going to move. You know what, I'm gonna do a little easier one because this is gonna be tough. We're gonna move into wide push-up, so real wide. Here we go, on your knees or all the way. Wide and up. Come on, if you need your knees, that's fine. Really wide, we're pressing up. Full push-ups or knee push-ups are up to you. Keep moving, don't stop. Woo! That's it. There you go. Push it out. Come on. Woo. And up. On your knees if you need. A few more. Push it out. Really try to push out as many as you can. Hands are wide. There you go. You got it. Ten seconds. Come on. You should feel like noodles now. Woo. Your arms are going to look so great. Two. One. All the muscles. <laughs> All right, let's come on down to the side here. We're gonna lay on our side all the way. We're gonna take one hand, hug yourself with it. The other hand's gonna be on the ground, and we're gonna push up and down. You can also just hug yourself here, push up and down. So my hand is straight on the ground, and I'm pushing my body up and down. There you go. Let me show you from the side here. I'm laying straight to the side. My elbow is on the ground. I mean, my elbow is bent, my hand's on the ground. I'm pushing up and down, that's it. One side, one arm, makes it tougher. And down, woo, 
wherever you want to put that other hand so it's not in your way. If you need help and you can't get up, you can always help yourself with that other arm. This one's just super tough because you're using only one arm. Come on, you've got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Yeah. Okay, other arm. Here we go. Lay on your side all the way. We're going to lay all the way down. Hand is going to be up and over onto the ground right in front of you. Ready? Here we go. Up and down. And up and down. Press it up. Come on. Press and down. Press and down. On the down. Don't just let yourself drop. You want to really make sure you're controlling on the down so you get the workout on the up and on the down. Woo! This is our last move. That's it. You can hit me up in the comments for the more difficult move if you want. I will give it to you later. Make sure you leave a comment and I'll post it for you. Push it out, come on. Woo, 10 seconds, come on, push it. I know you wanna quit because it's one arm, but you're gonna keep going because we're all here. Let's go, push and down. Woo, three, two, one, woo. Shake out those arms and push it in. If she did this with us, she's gonna be tired. So she feels you leaving the rest through the cool out. Hey everybody. Katie, I love how we worked all different areas of the arms in that workout. And to cool it down, let's lower all the way down onto our belly coming into Sphinx Pose. So our shoulders are gonna stack directly on top of our elbows. Feel your forearms firmly grant, planted into the mat. And then feel your shoulders roll back as your heart opens forward. Taking a moment to pause here to maybe reconnect with your breath if you need to. And then we'll turn our palms out in opposite directions, pressing the arms straight into seal pose. And then as you continue to feel your shoulders draw back, drop your right elbow onto the mat as you look over your left shoulder. Inhale, come back through center, take it to the other side, left shoulder drops, looking over the right shoulder. Connecting movement with breath as you move at your own pace from side to side. Breathing deeply. And then coming back through center, we'll press up into our plank, coming onto the forearms and then pressing up to straight arms. Exhale, downward facing dog, really engaging the arms. All 10 fingers are firmly planted into the mat. Elbows draw in towards one another. And then with the Core engage. We're going to reach our right palm off the mat. Inhale, finding length as you reach forward. And, and then exhale, grab the back of your left calf. Feeling the spine lengthen first. And then looking under your left armpit. armpit. Firmly pulling back against that left leg. The deeper your the deeper you pull, the more you're going to be able to come into this twist. Taking a few more breaths here. And then come back through center. We'll take it onto the other side. Inhale, lift the left palm off the mat. Find length. And then exhale, grab onto the back of your right calf. Weight is still evenly distributed through both legs. Slight bend of the knees if that feels okay to you. And then really pull and look under your right armpit. It's often said that the deeper you breathe, the more that you're gonna feel. So really making that your focus in this moment. The inhales and the exhales of the breath.
Coming back through center. Really engage the arms as you tiptoe up to the top of your mat, arriving, you know, forward fold here together. Grab onto opposite elbows, sway from right to left, left to right. Adding a smile and feeling grateful for showing up today on your mat for yourself to tone and to strengthen your arms. Rooting down through the feet to rise up, reach up. We'll do one more stretch together. So reach up, grow tall, find length, and then exhale, drop your left palm by your side as you inhale, reach the right arm, right arm up and over to the left. Option one is to stay here. Option two is to grab onto the wrist. Or option three is to clasp the palms together. Dropping that right shoulder back just a tad to open the heart. And then when you're ready, coming back through center and taking it onto the other side, taking the same variation that you did on the right, or maybe exploring with something slightly different. Slight bend in the knees and drop that left shoulder back. Inhale, coming back through center, reach up. And then exhale, palms to heart center. Thank you all for showing up today to practice with us and to practice for yourself. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you full disclosure, before I came on, I had to shush my dog because he's in the back disrespecting me by snoring as we're working out. <laughs> that was a great workout. I honestly, like I lift weights and I can barely feel my muscles after doing all of those. So that was a great cool down. I needed it. I hope you guys like these. We love them. I love doing them with you. We love being here with you every single time. I hope these give you as much endorphins as you want. Obviously, they give me a few endorphins. And you are enjoying your daylight savings week. You're enjoying the sunshine. And you're enjoying your workouts just like we are. Per usual, thanks so much. We will see you guys next time. And I hope you have a great week. See you. Bye, y'all. Happy spring. Bye, guys.